Jeff Locker showed up at our office in Laramie with three giant boxes full of documents, water quality data, reports, and he wanted us to help him figure out what was going on with his well. He had one sample when he first financed his ranch that indicated he had really good water quality. And four years later, it had degraded and had gotten worse by about 10 times. I've spent most of my life in Wyoming and there's not that many projects where I've gotten this deep into it. It's clear to me that the reason that not much is happening here is political pressure. And, you know, to be that callous towards these people that this is where they live. This gas field began development back in the 1960s, but things really ramped up in the 90s. This whole field is developed in the Wind River Formation, which is just a sequence of sandstones and channel deposits that are layered on top of each other. But there's no impermeable zone that keeps gases from moving upward. And so in a situation like that, the gas wells need to be completed in such th that there's surface casing down to below the bottom of the deepest water supply well. So all of that should be cemented all the way to the surface and 52 percent of the wells there is a big space between the production zones and the bottom of the surface casing so there's this whole open space which can potentially allow communication of gases and fluids from these intermediate zones and it just sort of mobilized that methane that was farther down in the lower zones because of these improperly constructed wells and if they would have paid attention to that and checked on these wells and how they were being constructed we probably wouldn't be here. There's people that have wells that they can't use because the water is so bad, they can't even let their cows drink it. Groundwater is probably our most important resource to let this go on for 10 or 15 years and these people still have no water except for a few bottles delivered once a week. Is It's just not right.